doing wonderful. How are you? <laughs> I am doing fantastic. So um, we wanted to jump on here, and ultimately we did want to do a live, but yeah, we, we had a little bit of technical difficulties. Yes. So we are here and mm -hmm. ready to share some information with you guys mm -hmm. um, in a way that you can hear it and enjoy and um, apply it into your potential home purchase or mm -hmm. just your understanding of real estate and mortgage. So. Yeah. And this all stemmed off of the Q&A we posted for uh, a week, and um, everything kind of revolved around first-time home buying. Yeah. And that seems to be a lot of um, uh, our followers, people we know, and we want to reach out and help them out with um, any information they need. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully that will um, come through today in this video, and we'll go from there. But um, Right. And really any, any buyer, I guess, um, because a lot of it pertains, it's all the same, any buyer who's looking to... Purchase real estate, learn about it, um, learn about the process. If you already bought and you're buying your second home and you feel like you weren't very educated the first time around, that's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. um, so my name is Peyton Kellenhofer and I am with Windermere Real Estate mm -hmm. and I've been uh, in the industry for about five years and um, it's been it's been awesome. Yeah. I, I love everything about it and um, being there for people in such an intimate way of uh, such a big moment in, in people's lives. So really excited to be here and talk mm -hmm. about it and just answer your questions because you guys had a wonderful questions mm -hmm. um actually very surprised by the questions i, I know they were it was good some, there was a few that stumped us yeah for a second. i'm really <laughs> glad that you guys reached out because it's important to take that step and be comfortable to reach out and mm -hmm. and get that information so yeah and uh my name is kaden nanini i work with umqua bank home lending um and i this is my first year uh then just loving everything about this industry um, and the knowledge I'm learning and hoping to share it with uh, every one of you. Um, so that's my main goal. It was just education and um, from anyone from Peyton's page, if you were to hop over to mine, you'd see that and you'd probably laugh as well. So Yes, um, some good stuff over there. So <laughs> pop over to his page, you'll, you'll definitely laugh. Um, yeah. And that's kind of our goal is to make an enjoyable process mm -hmm. and um, just bring a lot of value. Uh, I think uh, in any industry should always bring value to people and and ultimately it's fulfilling in mm -hmm. the long term so mm -hmm. why we're doing this and yeah anyway we can help you guys if you do want to reach out to us or if this helps you navigate your relationship with your mortgage lender or your mm -hmm. real estate agent um, I mean that's a win for us too so mm -hmm. yeah we yeah. will get into it um, first time home buyers very exciting concept so if you were one of those who have questions or if you're thinking about it and you, if this pertains to you then that's exciting so yeah. Um, yeah. And Whoever you reach out to first is is the goal. Um, mm -hmm. You need to reach out to an industry professional and um, get your questions answered. So. Yeah. And there's no wrong person to reach out to first, whether it's Peyton or I as, as a lender or Peyton as a realtor. Um, we kind of do the, like I have mentioned, um, we kind of do the behind the scenes, get to know each other, see if it would even make sense between the two of us because we're not going to work with each other if we don't um, think it'd work between us. We wouldn't pass on um, first-time home buyers or other clients if it wouldn't make sense in right. our eyes. Um, right, we actually met yeah. um, a month ago. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so yeah, new relationship here, um, mm -hmm. professional, and we have a, a mutual friend mm -hmm. and more than a friend. More than a friend for me, I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's been really great and yeah. we felt like this was something that people needed and clearly there was a lot of questions that were asked of us and we're hoping to hit all of them. So. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think one of the first questions was where do you start when you yeah. when you um, are thinking about buying real estate and what was it? When do you know if you're ready? There was a, there was a couple. There was when do you know when you're ready? Um, there was a one that said, do I reach out to a realtor first or do I just start looking? Mm -hmm. um, you questions. could probably touch. I'll questions. let you touch on this, but coming from my side, either one of us works. But I yeah. would reach out to a professional right away. I wouldn't do too much legwork yourself. We're going to be able to push you in the <laughs> That's right a direction. Dangerous zone. Yeah. yeah. Um, you definitely don't want to make a false move. I mean, it's it's a big purchase, and mm -hmm. when you're purchasing a property, it's it's north of, you know, two hundred thousand dollars, and can go up to millions and millions of dollars. So, mm -hmm. uh, I don't think you want to do that by yourself. No, especially if you're not doing it full time. So, uh, you want to reach out to someone who is in the in the industry full time, and mm -hmm. um, if that's Kate and myself, great, we'd love to help you. Uh, but if you know of someone who is in the positions that we are, mm -hmm. feel free to reach out to them and get your questions answered and hopefully they'll be uh, a wealth of information for you. So mm -hmm. yeah, it doesn't matter who you reach out to. No. Um, um, and I mean, we could start with, if you wanted to reach out to a lender, we'll look at whoever you know. It's This um, business is 
so um, there's more than just the numbers. There's more than just the house, and it's about working with someone you know and trust. Um, mm -hmm. And I'd reach out to anyone you know right away uh, if they're in the industry and talk to them because um, you've already built that uh, relationship already. Mm -hmm. And um, whether that's a realtor or a lender, I would reach out to them. Um, and vet them yeah. out, you know. Don't be afraid uh, in this market. It's very important who you work with because mm -hmm. it's highly competitive and you don't want to pay more than you need to. Nobody does. Um, so you want to keep more, more funds in your pocket and, um, you know, not be misrepresented. So mm -hmm. I would say vet them out. Don't be afraid to, even if it's your cousin. I mean, your cousin might be great and they, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they could also put you in a position that might not be the best light for you. So mm -hmm. um, make sure you're working with a fiduciary who has your best interests in mind at all times. So I would say first step, you want to buy a house, you know, you're on the right track, having that mindset and having the idea and whether that's a month, mm -hmm. two years, six years, um, it's all process and we're here to game plan that for you yeah. and um, find out where you are financially and mentally and get you to that point and achieve your goals. So um, yeah, mindset is super important. Mindset mm -hmm. is super important. Um, yes. In I anything get, really. Any, so. Well, yeah, I guess in multiple <laughs> I mean, ways I've, I've noticed that in my life. We're advocates of that. That's, yeah. That's for sure. Um, as I guess as a first time home buyer thinking of uh, mindset is I don't want anyone thinking of the negative because uh, there's a lot of stigmas um, with getting into a home. Um, mm -hmm. Think of how I can get into a home. Plenty of other people have bought homes in the future. Mm -hmm. Don't think about what's stopping me. Always think about the positive. Always see, oh, I have this going for me. Um, and I guarantee if you talk to me, I'm gonna say, I'll pull out all the positives that you of your situation that you tell me. Cause I'm gonna be like, well, this is great. This is way better than you think. Mm -hmm. um, we're so hard on ourselves and we shouldn't bring that into buying a home. Right, um, it should be an exciting time. It should never be stressful. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of times people put just so much stress on themselves and that's, we'll, we'll take, we'll take on the we're stress. supposed to take yeah. the stress. <laughs> yeah. If you ever feel stressed out, that's, that's the problem of, of your, the professional that you're working with. And mm -hmm. that should be, that's ultimately our responsibility yes. to, to navigate that stress for you and, uh, and sort of be your therapist a little bit. So little bit. <laughs> that's okay. If that happens, that's, it's every transaction is that way. So. But it's more than just the numbers. We're, we we uh, if we don't know you, we get to know you, and yeah. if we already do know you, we get we get to know you a little bit better. Yeah. And obviously, we're trying to make the best to help you make a big decision and then the best decision for you. Right. Um, and it's really yeah. fun. So I mean, yeah. you, <laughs> Caden Spage is very funny. So uh, I'm sure you'll have fun <laughs> with him if you ever want to ask him a question. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the first step, reach out to someone. Mm -hmm. um, always when you reach out to me, I kind of get an idea of what you're looking for so I can keep an eye out for you, educate you on the market first and foremost, and make sure you know with with your goal what it takes to get there and what uh, what's going on in the market. So I'll show you if you're looking to purchase a single family home with a home office and three bedrooms for your kids and you want a backyard for your dog and your kids, then we're gonna look at those and see how the market has performed in that little sector. So um, seeing how quick those homes have sold and what they've sold for, if they're over asking price and what you need to do to compete and write a strong offer mm -hmm. to get that single family home with the home office and the three bedrooms. Yeah. So that's first step. And mm -hmm. then I direct you to Caden and yeah. say, Hey, you know, you gotta get pre-approved. That's, you can't write an offer without being pre-approved for a mortgage. So yeah. that's crucial. Might have and gotten away with it before, not so much anymore. Yeah, how crazy and if is, you but... did get away with it before, <laughs> you got really lucky. So yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. So get in touch with one of us and mm -hmm. then get pre-approved with Caden and yeah, he and knows the pre-approval process a lot more. So yeah, and then pre what does it take to get pre-approved, Caden? Yeah, pre-approval <laughs> process, um, based, pretty simple. Um, it's basically just looking at your financial situation, income, and then based off some metrics, um, see what you qualify for and then what are you finally approved for. The difference mm -hmm. between qualifying is basically looking at income, taking those metrics, and then taking a well-educated guess at what you can um, pay in a monthly payment mm -hmm. uh, and how much house you can afford. And then pre-approval is more set in stone. It has gone through my underwriting team and they're the ones that it, that fine tooth comb that go through your file, make sure all the income it matches what I've put into the application, what you've put into the application, and gives a hard number on how much of a house you can afford. And it's super helpful to know, um, so you're not looking at stuff out of your price range or too low. That's yeah. that's that's a rookie <laughs> mistake. When you get fall in love with a house that you can't afford, mm -hmm. and that's that's okay if you can't afford it. It's just when you get attached 
That is so hard to see. I've had a lot, I've had people reach out to me and they fall in love with this house and they're not pre-approved and they find out if they can't even have the house. So yeah. talk to Caden first yeah. and then start looking at houses. Don't, don't jump mm -hmm. the gun. And, um, yes, that is, that is definitely something that's really important. Yes. And, and a lot of things I've noticed is that someone says, Hey, should I be pre-approved? Pre-approvals only last 90 days, mm -hmm. um, based off a of credit score. So credit scores only last 90 days. Um, you should be probably actively looking if you're doing a pre-approval, if you're just mm -hmm. kind of looking around to see what might work or kind of talking to Peyton. Mm -hmm. um, it would, yeah, I would say um, if you get pre-approved, it would, should be a hard, uh, hard looking. Um, but we can always talk about pre-qualifying. Always talk to me about what you can't afford and we can put something together there and then mm -hmm. we'll move on to that next step. And then um, kind of going, if you were to reach out to me first, um, it'd be much the same, honestly, much the same. I mm -hmm. would, we would sit down, I'd get to know you more than just income, see what's your story, what you're looking for, because um, we care. We, we don't care just about numbers, so um, care about your story and where you want to move. And then I would try and find a realtor that would best suit you, and that's the, the synergy we talked about, and getting mm -hmm. to know each other rather than just doing this to do this. So Right. And yeah, so it's all about connections and relationships and making sure this runs as smoothly for you. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So allow us to take on your stress. Any questions you have, that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a major question that I get from, from buyers when I'm representing them is how much do I need to put down, uh, especially first-time homeowners, mm -hmm. is what percentage down, what's my down payment, what's my closing costs? If mm -hmm. you don't know what the difference is, your down payment is what you're paying towards the, the purchase of the of the home mm -hmm. and then your closing costs are separate so there's there's fees associated with um you know getting a mortgage and title and escrow yes and all of that transferring between seller and purchase um mm -hmm. or buyer mm -hmm. and um yeah. yeah and sometimes you can get that covered and i love to negotiate that for buyers because it's <laughs> great yes anytime you can hold and not have to bring as much cash at closing uh you know is an advantage so mm -hmm. you can use some of that cash for home improvements or um, you know whatever you want just to keep some more cash in the bank for for a safety net so mm -hmm. um, I know there's there's lots of options on what how much you can put down and mm -hmm. it's definitely your, your time <laughs> my to cup of tea yeah, yeah. Um, so I had a question come in do all homes require at least a three and a half percent down payment mm -hmm. on a home um, that is it's actually lower uh, there's several loans that you can get with a zero percent um, down payment um, such as like a VA loan, um, if you're a veteran, active duty, and have a vet e VA eligibility. And then there's also a USDA loan also offered by the government that's for more of a rural area, um, mm -hmm. specific to like Washington and Oregon. It's pretty much anything past um, outside of the I-5 corridor in major cities along I-5. Along I five. So just yeah. something to keep, uh, keep in mind. And um, if you're looking there, that's always a great option. If you don't have the funds right away, um, for a down payment, there are still some closing costs, and that'll depend on how much the seller's willing to help out with. And also your lender. Lender's price has changed. So um, I, I'm a lender telling you that you don't always have to just look at one rate. If you like your lender and want to stick with them, so be it. But always check several rates um, and costs So and see which one be best fits you. But uh, there's, there's a couple of options there. And then there's always home buyer or uh, first-time home buyer down payment assistance. Um, uh, so that I'm certified to use in Washington. I don't know a lot about other states, um, but if you were looking to use those funds in a different state, I'd always be willing to um, get certified in that for you. But there's plenty of options. I know there's the 20% stigma mm -hmm. um, that I've talked about uh, on my page before, and it's... You don't it, have to don't, put 20% no, no. down. To answer that question, no. slam that on the table is you don't have to put 20% down. Such um, a large number. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. Not and true. If, if if that was the case, a lot of people wouldn't own a home. Mm -hmm. um, so don't worry about that. But yeah, you can definitely get mm -hmm. three and a half percent and even potentially zero percent if you qualify for that. So mm -hmm. uh, I would say if you have any interest in, in, in owning real estate in any shape or form, 
reach out to one of us because you might not realize how possible and close it is. Mm -hmm. And then also we can help you navigate, you know, what what you could cut out as far as if financially you're not in a position to be there or if your credit mm -hmm. if your credit score isn't where it needs to be, there yeah. are ways that we can improve it and uh, kind of navigate that for you and put you in the right direction because you might think it's out of your reach, but really there's just some little fine tuning that you can do to your mm -hmm. credit score because you feel like that's that's someone else's control, but yeah. really there are some ways that you can uh, can improve that. So. And that's why reaching out as early as possible, like yeah. even if you're a year, year and a half away from buying, yeah. um, mm -hmm. you talk with me, we can talk about credit score, a plan to see how we can raise your credit score or a yes. plan to create some savings to be able to buy a home. I know I mentioned several 0% down payment options, but there are still going to be closing costs. And then there's always, um, take it from me, moving into a home about a year ago, there's always added costs of just owning a home. Um, someone brought up to me, there's not always a garbage can. Not always a garbage can <laughs> at the house. So you may have to yes. buy a garbage can right off the top. That's, so, a good, that's a good point. So, and then it just all comes down to, are you are you ready to buy a home? And it's just the small things that we can talk about. And like I said, there's a, everyone's story is different. It's just understanding each person's um, wants and needs and then a, kind of creating a custom game plan for everyone. Mm -hmm. There's nothing cookie cutter about this. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was, yeah. Um, and then if we, I guess we could roll into... The process? Yeah. And then if um, if you're kind of ready, when do you think, I guess when do you think you're ready to buy a home? Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Like when's, when do you think is the right mindset uh, to buy a home or, yeah. you know? Yeah, I, I think, that, um, right? <laughs> yeah, there was, there was several questions like that. And I think um, whenever you feel any urge or, I don't know, any feeling that you, a little warm and fuzzy feeling that you have, <laughs> that gets yeah. you excited about a home, I mean, I would think that's the starting point. And that's, that's I wouldn't say you might be ready at that point, but mm -hmm. you're ready when you get pre-approved. Mm -hmm. You're ready when you're um, educated on the market and you know what you're going to have to do. You're ready when you have a real estate agent um, who's who you feel synergy with and you feel like they're going to represent you really well. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're ready when you start looking at homes. Yeah, you're, you're ready when you realize you, you don't want to start paying someone else's mortgage yeah, by rent. I'll exactly. tell you what, it's the best feeling yes. to know that you're actually putting money towards something that's yours and is and it's an investment investment and, and you're going to yes. reap the rewards later and mm -hmm. um, it's just like too. the stock market i mean you're putting away money into this mm -hmm. rather than funding someone else's investment so i mm -hmm. think i think that's huge um the process pre-approval yep he tells me hey you guys are worth uh qualified for uh a house that's five hundred thousand, mm -hmm. and we start looking and then i look into some properties for you we we go tour some